I'm sticking with Jeff Hazlett. A lot of you guys know him. You've been at Kodak, you've been a lot of places, you're independent now, and you're working with a lot of different companies. Let's just start with advice. Well, I think one of the biggest things I could probably say is to get transparent, because I'm still seeing a lot of brands trying to control things, trying to you know delete comments off their Facebook page, right. delete tweets, and really that's not what it's about. Jump in. People know whether you're doing a good job online or offline. In fact, I tell people if you suck offline, you're gonna suck online. So, you know, it's just, you might as well get out there and just be interactive and so forth. They know you're gonna make mistakes and just be transparent. Who's doing it right? What brands get it? Uh, you know, there's so many brands that get it. There's some big brands that we see here in the room like Pepsi and, and uh, Macy's and some others. But I think there's a lot of little brands that are getting it. A lot of smaller companies get it. You know, it's I always say in, with social media and with digital, one third of the people get it right away, one third eventually get it, and one third will never get it. What are some of your favorite pieces of a good campaign? Is it an intuitive website that learns you? Is it QR codes that go to unique branded content? What do you like? Well, I see right now, I, I'm really loving quick response codes, not the ugly codes that you see. I don't like those, but there's a new one out there called Snap Tags, which are really what I call brand tags. And you've got the ugly, simple codes, and you've got a code that, that really shows your brand. You can put whatever you want in it, and it collects information on each person. So even if that's that one snap tag that you go to, when you click on it and go to it, it records different information for you. And when I do it, it's different for me, and we have different experiences. That's cool. That's very cool. How do you think this stuff is going to manifest? I know that QR codes are a lot of the different scannable things have to do with retail. They have to do with social TV, the entertainment experience. Where do you think these are most useful? Mostly in, for scale. I think that's what we're going to see is that, you know, some of these have been novelties and now you're starting to see it more. I met, when I was at Kodak and we had problems with an with a inkjet printer for a while, we found out that as people were installing the inkjet heads, they were having huge failure rates. So what we said was, let's do a video, let's put a card in there that says, before you do anything, watch this video. Imagine if we used a snap tag like that and said, on the box, click this for this, and then on your phone you can watch the instructions and watch someone tell you how to open the box, put the device in, put the inkjet cartridge, do all this, and it eliminates, one, all that printing material you're going to put inside. Are users fluent enough to use some of these new emerging technologies? Yeah, sure, their kids will teach them, you know, that's the, way, that's the best way. It's like, you know, just like they teach me to program my DVR. I mean, that's what we're going to see. And again, one third get it, one third eventually get it, one third never get it. How do we take this to the business side? How do we report back to the CFO about these great new ideas? How do we actually prove that we're getting the engagement and we're getting the revenue? Well, I mean, the CFO is always concerned about return on investment. I mean, that's what we see the most part. So you have to prove that it, it's, you know, dogs can eat the dog food, they're going to buy your products, and it's not just about the engagement. Engagement's nice, but in the end, you got to sell something, and you got to drive top line revenue, you got to drive margin, and you should drive customer satisfaction. So you need to make sure that he or she understands that that's just as important as anything else. I talk about ROI as return on ignoring. So all these conversations, all these things are going online, all this digital activity that, that's out there is happening with you or without you. So how do we get engaged with that? How do we you know, get these people educated and turn them into evangelists for us? So you've really got to focus in on what are the conditions of satisfaction you're trying to drive and are you getting to them? And if you're getting to them, then you know, shut up. I'm doing the right thing. What's your favorite tool set right now? Do you like mobile devices? Do you like the social platforms? Well, I like them all. I mean, I got different things for different things, but I, I mean, no one's going to go anywhere without your phone. You know, 90 some percent of the people now sleep within arm's length of their phone, you know, certain age groups, uh, and even more adults now, more older adults, I should say. And then, you know, a lot of people sleep with it in their bed. Most people know where their phone is before they know where their children are. Any other hot buttons? We've got connected cars, we've got social TV. What are you excited about? Oh, I mean, I love everything. I love. I can't wait till I can buy things right off my TV more regularly, so it's part of it. it. I don't have to see a special tag that pops up on the bottom. I can just go ahead and click a picture of something that I see to get more information, it's more interactive. Jeff, just a pleasure. We'll talk again soon. Thank you.